Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sempre. Huh? It's live. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, well. Hey, I know my sister. Good evening, good evening. You call us clearing our throat. We had to get our get our throats clear. Talking boys. Talking, <laughs> talking good. Oh God, Everyone dude. saying nothing wrong. Yeah. But listen, dude. it's all part of the bloopers. But welcome to Text Talk with Pastor D. I got my my main man back. Uh, stronger than ever. Pastor John McGlon, um, who so efficiently um, dealt with this text that we're going to um, go over and discuss more because there's so much that he preached, but yet it's so much to be God, revealed. Man, yes, yes. And so we're just going to talk about it and um, get your Bibles. Come on in. John chapter 3. Yes. yes John yes. chapter 3. John chapter 3. 3. Three, one, two, three. three. So let's get our Bibles. Let's um, get us something to drink and cool out. <laughs> and listen to. Now let's get some Kool Aid. Now Kool -Aid. we don't want to get the wrong. Uh, at least a Pepsi. A strong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a yeah. strong. Uh, not strong, but strong. 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 Oh, Lord, a strong. Right. <laughs> at least a Pepsi. At least. <laughs> so we're gonna pray. And um, start our session. Eternal God, our Father, we come on this evening. Lord, we thank you for life, health, and strength. Now, Lord, as you open up the word of God, speak to us as we converse over the text. Yes, God. Uh, let it be a blessing to us and to those who are watching. Yes. That perhaps something may be said that may enlighten the hearts of these, your people. Uh, Lord, bless, bless this session. Mm -hmm. uh, bless this talk. And have your way, Lord. We thank you now for friendship, fellowship, brotherhood. We thank you for the fa being a family, part of the family of God. Now, Lord, speak to our hearts. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Okay, so let's let's set the scene. Jesus has has left the Passover, and um, after cleansing the temple, he does some miraculous things. Yes. Um, he gets the attention of who he needs to get the attention of, and that is the Sanhedrin Council. Yes, yes. Okay, so we know that the Sanhedrin Council, um, through Moses in the book of Numbers, mm -hmm. was put together as a group of elders who would be a help to him for um, leading the people. Right. The burden became too heavy on right. Moses. And, and Moses was overwhelmed with the burden of the people and their complaint. And so the Lord chose him, told him to choose men and to place his hand upon him, right. on, upon them, excuse me. And their spirit will be, his spirit will be placed on them. In the perils of time, or so I say, this Sanhedrin council has, has kind of, they shifted. They shifted. Yes. They shifted. We have um, the, Sad the Sadducees, the Pharisees, the scribes. Those consist of hierarchy leadership. Yes. Uh, but there is a separation even between the Pharisees and the Sadducees. And Sadducees. Um, now keep in mind that the, that, that the Pharisees, the, the, the Sadducees were more worldly than the Pharisees. The Pharisees were the most, I, I would say, devout uh, Jewish, Jewish sect, S E C T, of 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 the uh, council, they were more devout, uh, and uh, so all of them, even the Pharisees and Sadducees, they had this idea of the overthrow of Rome. Right. They 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 kept that in the back of their mind because Rome was was really a hard taskmaster for them, even though they were wealthy. They didn't have to deal with all the stuff that, that the lower class people dealt with, but they had in the back of their mind the, 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 the precept 
that uh, somewhere, some, somehow, someday, somebody is coming along right. that's going to help us overthrow right. this Roman government. Right. And, and, and I, think, I think that might have been what touched their taste buds for Jesus. Mm. <laughs> I think that that probably because all, with, with the things, with, 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 the, with the signs and stuff that, that, that you were speaking of, that Jesus was doing, and 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 they're hearing about this, uh, and them knowing the law, uh, knowing the Old Testament, had an idea that this could possibly be the guy that's going to come and free us, right. free all of us. Right. So so that really that really messed them up. Right. And and so with this, Jesus. Impresses yes. one in particular, Pharisee by the name of Nicodemus. Now the Sanhedrin Council, yeah. part of their part of their job was to confirm the Messiah. The Messiah. The Messiah. So these miraculous things were signs. Yes. And the Jews sought to seek um, signs, sought after signs. Greeks seek after wisdom. Mm -hmm. First Corinthians 1 22. In doing so. Nicodemus' mind is open. Mm -hmm. And if I could use for a subject matter on tonight, it would be the open minded Pharisee. That'd be good. The open minded that Pharisee. That would be excellent. Um, his, his mind is open, and it's so open that there's been a discussion. Yeah. There's been a discussion. Oh, yeah, they talked about it. Because the text lets us know, and we won't go too far, yeah. but. So Nicodemus steals away by night. Right. I, I need to have a conversation with this man. And he doesn't come. He does not come, let me say, on his own, but at the behest of the others who had questions but yet wouldn't come. Yeah, because his, his statement is, we know. We know. He's, he's, he's speaking for, he didn't say, I know. He said, we, we know. know. And, and, and. But you're a teacher, so yeah. and, 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 and to say that, to say that gives you the idea or gives you the mindset that not only is he coming, but he's coming because he has questions along with others. And so Nicodemus is going to go back to them with these answers that, that they see. But Jesus doesn't allow him to get to the questions that I believe that he had in mind. Right. He cuts across. He cuts across the field. Yes. Cuts and, across. and hits the subject right head there on. in right hit him right in the in 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 the chest with it. You know, uh, we want to know. You know, like John sent his disciples to to ask Jesus, "Art thou uh, Christ, uh, or shall we look, look for another?" another? Well. Nicodemus didn't get to ask those questions at all. Jesus cuts across the field and said, Pow, there it is. There it is. You got to be born again. You got to be born again. Now, okay, he comes, comes by night. Let's see. Let's mm -hmm. see here. Uh, there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler uh, of the Jews. This man came to him at night. Now, and throughout scripture, where you see Nicodemus, you're going to always see the man that the came man, to Jesus. Yes. By at night. night, at by night. Okay, so uh, let's see. And said, "Rabbi, stop, Rabbi, yeah. stop, Rabbi." Now this is an influential man. Yes, a teacher, a teacher, calling Jesus Rabbi. Rabbi. So he has placed himself. Yes. In that student's in the status of a student. Right beneath him. Beneath Jesus. Yes. But his position. Has him over Jesus. Exactly. Woo! Because because he's a member Woo! of the Sanhedrin Council. He Woo! knows the law. Woo! He's in the temple. Yes, sir. I mean, he, he's a big boy. He's a, he's a ruler he's of a the ruler Jews. He's a ruler of the Jews. Mm -hmm. So Jesus really, in this particular setting. Jesus from Nazareth. Yes. Jesus from, born of uh, 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 a unique birth. Yes. Birth, incarnation, the, the incarnated Christ. Exactly, the, yes, sir. The, the, the slums of Nazareth. Nazareth. A Galilean. 
this ruler, Nicodemus, submits himself to that of Jesus. To the hood kid. Right. The bastard boy from. Yeah. Nazareth. Nazareth. And right. think about it. Right. Think about like Matt King Carter. <laughs> the nigga from Nazareth. <laughs> And, and just think about just think about how low Nazareth was. Here comes uh, uh, the Peter. Uh, who was it asked the question? Uh, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Can anything good? Philip. 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 Yes. Can anything good come out? No, of No. 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 I'm sorry. Not Philip. Um. Nathaniel. 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 We both. Yeah. Triple. Jeffrey. <laughs> Jesus keep <laughs> So So he, he 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 calls him rabbi. We know that you are a teacher who has come from God. Paul stop. We know. Now it's only one person coming. Yeah. But he says we know. So there's been a discussion. Yes. About this Jesus. Exactly. Exactly. Now, what has Jesus done so far? He's healed a few people. Changed water. He changed water to wine. But for as for what they see at the Passover, the text right. doesn't give us, but right. he had done miracles and yet cleansing of the temple. Right. So, and then their conversation then was by what authority does he do this? Do you do this? Well, keep in mind, I, I think the cleansing of the temple was a tipping point. Mm. I think the cleansing of the temple was a tipping point for them because look at who is in the temple. Look at what they are doing. They are money changers. They are changing. They are changing uh, uh, worthless, pretty much coins over to Roman coins. Right. They 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 are, they are taking. They are taking. Let's say. Let's say pennies. Changing the quarters. You know. If, if that's a good analogy. So I think the cleansing of the temple might have been the tipping point for them because this guy comes in and throws things out and throws things away and put throws money down. This don't mean nothing. Get out of here. And, and, and to say behind that, my house right. shall be called a house right. of God. Personal pronoun. Man. Wow. So, 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 so I think he 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 not only freaks them out mm -hmm. with what he's doing, but look at what happened. Nobody challenged him. Right. Right. He scared them. But then, but then let's not forget uh, what he quoted. Yes. Zeal. What is it? What is it? Zeal uh, for your house yes. will. Consume, consume me. me. Yeah, it has consumed me. It has consumed me. So, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is that at? That is uh, in verse, she take this thing down. That's number, verse number 17. 17. But it comes from um, Numbers 25 and 13. Is it two, Numbers 25 and 13? Let's make sure. But we saw a quote of scripture. All right. <laughs> yeah, the verse 17. Then his disciples remembered that it was written. Now that takes us a little deeper right there. Okay, here it is. Numbers 25, 13. It will be a covenant of perpetual priesthood. For him and his future descendants, because he was zealous for his God and made atonement mm -hmm. for the Israelites. Oh, Israelite. Woo! Yeah. Let me go here too. Okay, so let's back up and let's get that whole gist to see what that text is concerning. So, in chapter uh, 25 of Numbers. It says in verse number six, an Israelite man came bringing a Midianite woman to his relatives in the sight of Moses and the whole Israelite community while they were weeping at the entrance to the tent of the meeting. When Phinehas, son of Eleazar, son of Aaron the priest, saw this, he got up from the assembly 
took a spear in his hand, followed the Israelite man into the tent, and drove it through both the Israelite man and the woman through her belly. Then the plague on the Israelites were stopped. Mm -hmm. But those who died in the plague numbered 24,000. The Lord spoke to Moses, Phineas, um, son of Eliezer, son of Aaron the priest, has turned back my wrath <coughs> from the Israelites because he was zealous among them with my zeal. So, that, so I did not destroy the Israelites in my zeal. Therefore, declare, I will grant him my covenant of peace. It will be a covenant of perpetual priesthood for him and his future descendants, because he was zealous for his God and made atonement for Israel. Mm. The name of the slain Israelite man who was struck dead with the Midianite woman was Zimri, son of Salu, the leader of a Semonite family. The name of the slain Midianite woman, Midianite woman, excuse me, was Kozba, Kozba, the daughter of Shur, a tribal head of a family in Median. Okay, hmm. so the the Lord Jesus Christ quotes this scripture that relates to the priest, yes, who entails saves his nation because one of his brethren have taken a Midianite woman. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, he has, he has <laughs> something, something on my head. So, in doing so, Do you hear music right, in, the <laughs> in doing so, he has a covenant with the Lord mm -hmm. because he, is, he has come with the zeal of the Lord. Right. So that would represent the Lord's zeal uh, with, with Christ casting out in the temple that these individuals did not understand what they had done to the Lord's house, right. just like this individual had not understood what he did by taking that meeting night woman. Mm -hmm. check, check this out. Check this out. This, this, is, this is Psalm 69. Um, we'll start at uh, verse 7. Uh, because for your sake I have borne reproach, Shame has covered my face. I have become a stranger to my brothers, an alien to my mother's children, because zeal for your house has eaten me up. Mm. And reproaches of those who reproach, you have fallen on me. Mm. This, this, this zeal for the house is heavy, right? Because because this is this is a song that deals with an urgent plea in time of trouble. So when you look at what you're reading in this, this zeal, the the, the house the house that Jesus cleansed was in trouble, right? Because they had taken. They had, they had, I, I heard a preacher say once, uh, some years ago, that there were several things took place in the temple, right. but everything had to be cleared out for the hour of prayer, being the ninth hour. Right. So they did their political stuff in the temple. Uh -huh. They did the money changing. Uh, they did the selling. And all of that in the temple, but they had hours to do that. But at the but but everything had to be cleared out for the hour of prayer uh, to 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 make sure that the temple would be going through. I guess you would say some kind of purification time uh, before the hour of prayer. Like uh, Peter and James, go, Peter right. and John goes up to the temple at the hour of prayer, uh, being the ninth hour, which right. is three o'clock in the afternoon. So 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 so. So Jesus goes in, and it doesn't, notice it didn't give us a time right. that Jesus does this. But apparently it was before 3 o'clock in the afternoon right. because other things were going on in the temple. Right, because the, the temple times were, I believe it was 9, 12, and 3. 9, 12, and 3. Yeah, I believe it was 9, 12, yeah. and 3. 
So he goes there, he goes there, he cleans out the temple, and, and these rulers have sat there, and they've looked. They saw this. Mm -hmm. Nobody challenged him. Nobody said, what are you doing? Nobody, they didn't even try to put handcuffs on Jesus. Mm -hmm. With him throwing people stuff right, away. Right, to right, 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 they right. Didn't, I mean, the temple guard didn't even try to stop him. There's no record that says that the temple guard tried to stop him. But he's throwing these things out of the temple. And here these guys are seeing this. Right. Something clicks. Well, well, well my, my thinking is it has to click because everything he's doing is lining up with scripture. Exactly. And if they are truly know the law, the Lord revealed himself in the Old Testament through his law. Yes. So they had to see what they've been reading in front of them. Well, check this out. This is the same Jesus that goes to the same temple at 12 and astounds them. At 12 years old. At 12 years old. Mm -hmm. Now he's 30. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He goes to the same temple at the age of 12 right. and astounds them because they're trying to figure out how this kid know all this right. all this work. Now he's 30. And he's of age. And he's of age. And he comes back into the temple. And he they had to know this was the same kid. They had a little bastard boy from Nazareth. Nazareth. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So... Nicodemus is open-minded. Yeah. He's open-minded. He, he's open-minded to get an answer. He's open-minded because um, he knows that no one can do these signs except. And, except they are sent by God. Right. So Nicodemus is um, the first intricate conversation we mm -hmm. can say that we see in Scripture because Jesus did not even talk to his disciples right. in this intimacy of understanding and regeneration. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The thing that gets me is that he talks to Nicodemus, but his disciples are there. They are there because as you read later on, later on he goes away with his disciples. Right. The disciples are there. And, and, and so Jesus is causing, Jesus is causing not only a stir, but Jesus is causing questions to come into people's mind. And I think this is one of the reasons that Nicodemus goes to him by night and says, you know, what he says, Rabbi, we know that our teacher come from God, but no man can do these miracles except God be with him. And Jesus stops the conversation and diverts away from what Nicodemus wants to talk about, or maybe not divert because in chapter two, those last three verses, he, he knows, knows what's in the heart of man. man. He knows what's in the heart of man. So Nicodemus has this has these questions, but look, Nicodemus never gets to ask Jesus the question. Mm. <laughs> he never gets to ask the question. He makes his statement and Jesus cuts it off. Look at Look at verse 2. Go ahead. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Most assuredly, I say unto you that unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. Where was the question? The um, the, the, uh, you, see, you see the omniscience of Jesus right here. Right. You see the all-knowing right. right. of Jesus right here. Right. Man, this boy come to ask a question, but he don't get to ask the question because Jesus reads his mind and says, most assuredly, well, surely, I say unto you, you must be born again. Because he just wants to know, is this the Messiah? Is, that's all. Are you the one? That's all he's looking for. He, he Yeah. <laughs> If if you'll say if you'll say yes I'm the Messiah, then I can form my own right. idea of what's about to happen now. But you cut this question off, and 
because we're looking for the Messiah to be somewhat of a warrior. Right. You know, to come in and free us right. of this from, oppression. From, from this oppression of all. Yeah. Yeah. This this get this 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 will get you right here. This will get you right here. Remember me saying that we were born with a deficit? Yes. Okay. When Ernestine, my mother, birthed me into the world. Mm. Check this out. She birthed me into a situation that I had nothing to do with. She birthed me into a penalty that had been passed along to me by Adam. Mm -hmm. So I was born with a deficit. I was born behind the eight ball. Right. I was born and could only react to that which I knew, which was my natural nature or my sin nature. Look at the conversation of how Jesus changes this thing. To, to be to, to 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 talk about being born again. Now, think about this. The Gospel of John is written in monosyllabic and disyllabic terms. Yes, sir. Okay. We ain't gonna mess with the trisyllabic terms. So if we look at this born again. A G A I N. Mm -hmm. And I'm born with a deficit. Jesus comes so that my deficit is washed away. Right. And I'm birthed again to a benefit. Yes, sir. So if you take that born again, if I'm birthed into a deficit and I receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior, I'm born again and birthed into a gain. Mm. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Separate the A, move the A over from again, and you get two words A gain. A G A I N. A gain. Right. Does that mess you up? Man. <laughs> Man. Process them. Yeah. Because I have to preach something. <laughs> You're going to be all right. The, the rest of this subject matter. Okay. <laughs> now, okay. How can anyone be born mm -hmm. when he is old? Nigga name is asked. Yes. Can he enter into his mother's womb a second time and be born? Jesus answered, truly I tell you, unless someone is born of water and the spirit, mm -hmm. he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Whatever is born of the flesh is flesh. Whatever is born of the spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I told you that you must be, be born, born again. again. Now, do not be amazed that I have told you that you must be born again. Okay. It's feeling good. Oh. <laughs> I, I, didn't, I, didn't, uh, I, didn't, I didn't want to holler, so I didn't wiggle my wrist a little bit. I, I don't know if you turn on the car or you just have a stroke. <laughs> Cranking it. <laughs> Man, I didn't know what you was doing. Okay. Woo. So he said, Do not be amazed. Mm -hmm. But I tell you, you must be born again. Do not be amazed. Nicodemus has been to the best, yes, to the best schools to learn this law. Exactly. It's been taught to him. He's a student of it. But yet, he's having a hard time understanding regeneration. Yes. Being born again. He's looking from the natural perspective. From the, right. Just think about it. I won't go no, there. Go, 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 go there. Go there. Do you think about how much pain that would be? Right. To cry up in your mother's womb. Again. <laughs> Again. Your mother be like, get. <laughs> I, I don't want to go back in there. No. <laughs> let me stay here. Please let me stay here. But 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 Nicodemus is. He's had he's struggling with this. Right. Because what 
Seemingly what Jesus is saying, when you look at it from a natural perspective, is that Jesus is actually throwing a grown man an impossibility. Right. But the grown man not understand, understanding that he has to die to self. Yes. That this, but to, but to be, in order to be born again, you have to die. You have to. You have to die. The self has to die. The, 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 the thing that throws a lot of people is this new birth. Right. That, that an understanding that this is a spiritual transformation rather than a natural, natural. occurrence. Right. No, rather than a natural occurrence. It is a spiritual transformation. Whatever your mindset is, that's why I, that's why Sunday I wanted to go to, to, to Romans chapter 12, uh, 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 where Paul speaks of being transformed. Right. This, this is a spiritual transformation, and Nicodemus is, is stuck in this because Nicodemus came looking for natural answers that would satisfy himself and the Sanhedrin. Right. Yes, I'm the Messiah. Yes, we're going to kick Rome out of here. That's what he was listening for. Right. But Jesus says, you must be born again. Now, wait just a minute. Well, well, that, 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 right. that, that don't even take me near what I want to. Hold on. How, and, and then, <laughs> do I crawl back up? What, what, I mean, what, how do I get? How? how? Is that possible? You, you giving me an impossibility. I'm, a, I'm an old man. He didn't say I'm just grown. He said, how do you do it when you're old? Okay, so I'm thinking and I'm processing. Jesus has just told Nicodemus that he needs to die. Yes. In order, I mean, he says born again. Born again. So that means that, but it's not a physical death. Right. It is spiritual. It is a spiritual death. Yes. That's what we wrestle with the most. Dying to self. Mm. Dying to self. Giving up the stuff that we were birthed into. Right, right. Because sin comes naturally. It comes, yeah. Oh, I mean. That's what I'm birthed into. Yeah, I'm going to sin I'm right now. I'm going to sin when I leave here. Going to sin, sin. We're going to try to get him converted. <laughs> but, you know, it, 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 it is really... Everybody wants to see it with me. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing strong with that oh, Pepsi, please. No. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's really amazing. It's really amazing because when you think about this, giving up... Oh, giving up... Yeah. What I've been so used to yeah. all my life, you know, it's difficult. Right. You're asking me to give up. We start talking about saying our numbers drop. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> our numbers drop. Go ahead. But you're asking me to give up what I've been so used to and what I've seen all my life and you're telling me that there is another way or a better way I can't fathom that because I'm so used to this you know I, I'm, I'm so used to to, to 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 you know telling you off right. in nasty ways when 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 you come against me I'm so used to when things don't work out you know, drink my problems away. I'm, I'm so used to playing, you know. Uh, and he's asking me to give up the nature that I'm born with. Can you imagine having all that knowledge that Nicodemus has, being in a pious position? Oh, man. Having the knowledge, you have the rule of people under your thumb. Yeah. You are respected in the community. And this man tells you you have to be born again. Same way when we were rich, young ruler. 
Oh, talk good. Think, think about it. Hey, that man said, <laughs> that man said, oh, that's what I got to do, Will. Won't be no Jesus for me. <laughs> yeah. I did a sermon uh -huh. in third person. And Pastor Kill looked at me like I was crazy. I dressed up. Yeah. In a little hat and had a little wig on. And I was a rich young ruler. I did a third person. Yeah, on wig. And, and I, right. Yeah, I wore a little Afro wig. Afro wig. No, I just wore a little, you know, trying to look Palestinian. Oh, so man. anyway. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, in it, I, I, I came with a third person mm -hmm. of, um, I missed my opportunity. Yeah. I missed my, mm -hmm. if I had uh, given it up, if I had a, you yeah. know, and don't make, you know the same mistake, right? Right. Because I was I wasn't willing to part with earthly riches, yeah, to get heavenly riches, mm -hmm. and so yeah, it was kind of well, and, 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 and see, kind of flunked that. You, 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 <laughs> but you but you gotta understand the difficulty, right, of what Jesus is asking. The same with the rich young ruler. Here's Jesus. Here's Jesus saying. The boy says to Jesus, I done kept all the commandments. Right. I done kept them from birth. And now you're going to ask me to go and give up all I got? Give it up. Nicodemus is sitting there saying, wait a minute. You're talking about being born again so I can't go back into my mother's womb. So, so in other words, you, you, Jesus lets him know that these are spiritual things that he's talking about, and Nicodemus is confounded because he can't understand why it is that what I've done in my natural is not good enough. Right, right. It, right. The wind blows where it pleases. Yes. Verses 8, verse 8, verse 8. Look at your Bibles. Yes, the wind did. blows where it pleases, and you hear its sound, but you don't know where it comes from or where it is going. So it is with every one born of the Spirit. Mm. How can these things be, as Nick Demons? Yes, Nick. How can these things How be? These things okay, be? so let's look at the wind. Today, today is a beautiful day. Today, yeah. got outside, got my steps in, mm -hmm. been walking. I need some new clothes. So, because I'm losing weight. All right. So, the wind was blowing. But, I didn't know where the wind was coming from. Can't see it. Can't see it, but I could feel it. Feel it. But I did not know where it's coming from. Let's walk this. Right. <laughs> Let's walk this. Jesus relates here to Nicodemus the action of the Holy Spirit. That's right. And Nicodemus is trying to figure this out. You, you heard me say, Sunday, without the breaking of water, right. there can be no birth. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, birth can only occur. La labor does not, labor does not start and, I, and here I am talking, I ain't a woman, but I, I guess somebody would agree with me. Labor does not start till the water is broken. Sometimes an instrument has to be used to break the water. To break the water. Mm -hmm. My water never broke. Mine, I, I want mine broke either. <laughs> the Holy Spirit is the agent. Yes, sir. Is the instrument. Is the instrument that breaks the water and rushes in. You don't know where it came from. Right. You take somebody that, that, that take me for instance. When I got saved, I knew something was happening. Right. And I knew enough to run from it. <laughs> I ran. Right. Because this was outside of my natural self. This was outside of my, something is trying to happen. Right. And I don't want this thing to happen because it's pulling me in a different direction than I'm used to. So that I was in my, what do you call it, sack? I don't know. 
that the, I don't tell them the embryotic sac. Yeah. Here, here I am in my natural embryotic sac, and I'm happy. I'm satisfied. I'm good with where I am. But there's a tug on the sack. And then all of a sudden, something punctures my embryotic sack. And I'm standing face to face with this rushing wind, the Holy Spirit. That comes, I don't know where it came from. I don't know why it even came. Why me? I didn't ask for this. I was happy doing what I was doing. We didn't have no problems. Mm. But the sack got punctured and left me face to face with a breath or with the wind blowing in my face that I'm not used to, I'm not comfortable with. And I'm like, what is this? Why is this? I don't know where you came from. I don't know why you came. I don't even know what you want with me. Mm. But you have called me from my comfort to a level that I don't even understand. I was comfortable here. I understood this. I, I was in the world. I understood the world. But now you've punctured my comfort zone. Mm. And I'm standing face to face with you. I heard about you, but who are you? What do you want? Why can't I do this? This, this, uh, I'm just floating now. I'm just floating. You must be born again. The wind blows where it wishes. And you hear the sound. Right. But you cannot tell from where it comes and where it goes. So is everyone that is born, born of the Spirit. Of the Spirit. Case in point, first Sunday, no, I'm sorry, first Sunday, November, 1990. It was like I was levitating. Mm. And I was sitting on the far side of the church, the highway side. This old, old dusty gold church. Because <laughs> we weren't always purple. purple right? you know, we, we was dusty, dusty gold. gold. I remember the gold. The dusty gold. And, 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 and AFJ was in that aisle, working it out. You know, he mm. was working it out. Well, as he would say, he was going fishing. Yeah. All of a sudden, the wind blew. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> I feel like I was levitating. Mm hmm to the front of the church. Just like you said, what is this? Yeah. I never felt like this before. But this is different. Yeah, different. But now that I have gotten this yes. new awakening, yes. this new birth, yes. what am I going to do with it? Exactly. Because it does not stop at the joint of church. No. It does not stop no. at baptism. No. But there comes a process of learning what's happened to you in this new birth, in this new found relationship. Yeah. And now you have to do more studying, more learning, you know. But I will say through my teenage years, my college life, mm -hmm. and so on, the Lord covered me yeah. when I was ignorant. And yet he graced me yeah. with his favor until I got serious about this Ooh, new birth. Yes, yes. Oh, but once I recognize that the old man has to die. Yes. And that's why, that's when the preacher says, things I used to do. I don't do no I more. I don't do no more. That's Places what he said. That's, that's, that's what he said. That's what he that said. new birth has done something. When you know you would fight, when yeah. you know you would act a fool. When, okay, case in point, for me, when I, when I went back to the club and I said, I want to see how I, how I react, I didn't feel comfortable. <laughs> you had the same experience. Sat there, the women was ugly, the beer was nasty, the music was too loud. Exactly. Felt like so. I felt like a sore thumb, but I was out of place. Yeah. 
And I felt good that I felt that way. So now that I know that this new birth has taken place, I'm going to take my ass home. I'm going to take my ass home. Excuse my language. <laughs> the, same, the, the same thing the same thing the, the same identical thing almost happened to me I went back to the club I was a disc jockey Billy Ocean on the ones and twos <laughs> Billy Ocean on the ones and twos really really and truly I was a disc jockey I was a disc jockey Talk about, he had a curl he had a curl I did and he was <laughs> I, I, I had a curl. I even had a curl when I started Ooh. preaching. Boy, yes, sir. You should have saw me. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> Juice flying all over. Yes, sir. But I went back to the club because I had seen, and, and, and this is why. This is why the the mindset, the, the the mind has to be converted. The mind has to be changed. The mind has to be be be, be regenerated, right? Because because it's more than just joining the church, right? You know, you can join anything, anything, but if your mind is not set to be an active part of it, then you're going through motions. Yes, sir. I joined the church. I was in the church. I was a choir director. I sang in the choir. You know, I did things in the church, but yet I was a disc jockey. But when this transformation happened, I'm sitting at home and I get up and I'm thinking, I'm going out tonight. I put on my going out to get down clothes and went out to the club. Walked in. Everybody was like, I wasn't spending that night. Folk were glad to see me. I went over to the bar. I sat down. I went over to Jock's bar. I sat down, and it was it was horrible. Yeah, the women was ugly. 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 The beer was nasty. Beer was nasty. The music was loud. I felt like everybody was looking at me. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Nobody was really paying me any attention, but it was conviction. Right, right. Had set in. And so Nick, Nick, Nick there talking with Jesus. Conviction sets in. Because now he's seeing a different side of this walk. Right. Wow. How can these things be? Look at verse 10. Jesus said, Jesus asked and said to him, Are, Are you the teacher of Israel? Look at what Jesus goes and says. Go, go back to verse 1. Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher. Right. Now you haven't been to all the schools. You well educated. Right. You, you, you got a better education. That natural education that I do. <laughs> and Jesus sit here and says, now, 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 wait a minute. Are you the teacher of Israel and don't know these things? Most assuredly, I say to you, we speak what we know and testify of what we have seen. And you do not receive our witness. Wow. Mm. Look at the stuff that Jesus is saying to Nicodemus. We testify right. of what we know and the things we've seen. But then again, Nicodemus can't see as Jesus sees. He can't see as Jesus sees. And he can't see what Jesus sees. So he's still sitting there in a pickle. Right. Because here, here is the son of God who sees all, knows, knows all. all. Talking, yes, sir. Man. Oh, Lord. 
Listen. It's, 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 it's really something when you look over your own conversion. Oh, man. And you look at from whence you came, when you look at the spiritual growth. Yes, yes. Um, it's amazing when you think about, and, and again, um, remove the self-righteousness. Yes, I yes. talked about that in the new Bible study. Remove the self-righteousness. And when you really look at your own self, and you see yeah. God's plan and work, and you know there was nobody but the Lord, but yet you have a better understanding. That mess you up. That mess you up. It, it, it will. It will bring tears to your eyes, uh, a holler in your throat, uh, yeah. Yeah. a clap of the hands. It humbles it, it it humbles humbles you all over no again. You know, I, I would just I would just encourage everybody who's listening tonight to just sometime when you are by yourself. Mm -hmm. Nobody but you and the Lord. Look back and see where He's brought you from. See the things that He's brought you through. You can shout at home if you want to now, but look at where you were and thank God that you're not what you ought to be, but you sure ain't what you used to be. Mm -hmm. Man, Nicodemus is seeking. An intellectual answer. Yes. And that's one thing we cannot mix carnality no. and spirituality. Again. And, and until he's able to shed himself of okay. carnality, that as 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 educated as he is, and Jesus, what you say, at all you the teacher. Yes. As 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 well rounded as he is, he is still looking through a carnality lens yes. of understanding regeneration. You know, there, there are times even now in my life, and, and I've been preaching for over 40 years, there are times I look back at this, and all over again, I get an awe moment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I get an awe moment. And it, it's, it's, it's like the reinforcement of who I have become in Christ rather than who I have become by myself. Because all I know is the nature that I was born into. Right. That's all, that's all I know. Mine is Christ. How, how in the world can you ever, how in the world can you ever get past yourself to realize that this man Jesus has brought a change in your life to where you see things differently, you feel differently, you look at things differently, and not from a carnal side anymore. Right. And then part of that is because when we look at this this text, and, and this may be, I don't know if this may be my subject something, but I'm looking at that he was looking, Nicodemus was looking for reasoning. Yes. But reasoning would not come at that moment, but it was revelation after a while. Yeah. And and one of the things that we want, we want it all, and we want it right now. Yeah. And the Lord and the Holy Spirit knows what we can and cannot handle. So he has to steady reveal himself. Little by little. Little by little. Because we can't handle it. We can't handle it. No. We can't handle it. So no Nicodemus is in a state where he has to, the revelation has to be slowly. And then we see him in chapter 3 coming by night. And chapter 7, we see him giving a deep yeah, Yes. And then in chapter 19, we see him at the cross of Jesus. Man. We see him giving a defense for Jesus, saying, let's give him a, let's give him a, a hearing. Mm -hmm. The law says that we give them a hearing. a hearing. This man is a prophet. They say a prophet has never come from Galilee. So we steadily see that Nicodemus is, even though he's in the shadows of the text, 
even though he's in the shadow of, of the text, it is being revealed to him after so so much time. Yes, yes. And just like that with us, the Lord had to reveal Himself. I know for me, I don't oh, know man. for anybody oh, oh, else. Yes. Oh yeah. But I can I can say okay. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I, okay. I heard Daddy talk about it, but now but I know. Not experience. Right. I got the experience. I got experience myself. myself. I can live on Mama Daddy's religion. Mm -hmm. Religion. No. I talked about that last week. And and I, and I think I think that's what a lot of people get caught up on, uh, which makes these make these mothers and fathers days different than they ought to be. Uh, because, you know, my mama was a strong uh, Christian. Uh, she worked in this church for umpteen years. And so because of what my mama did, I feel privileged right. to hang on mamas. No, this guy, you got you to go through this for yourself. Mm -hmm. this, this, is, this is every man. Look, check this out. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Galatians 2 and 20. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God who loved me and gave himself for me. Man, I do not set aside the grace of God. For if the righteousness comes through the law, then Christ died in vain. Right. Nicodemus knew the law. That's right. But Jesus is saying, I want you to know me for yourself. The law was a, school, was a schoolmaster and that was good for that time. Yes, sir. But right now, Oh my God. That's heavy. Man. And then, watch this. He goes in. This is a prelude to Sunday's sermon. Oh Lord. He goes in mm -hmm. to give an example yeah. of what the crucifixion would look like. <laughs> and as Moses. As Moses. Lifted up. Yes, sir. The serpent. The, 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 the serpent in the wilderness. Even so. Must the son What's of man. Up, man? Now you want you want intellectual. I'm gonna give it to you right here. What, what, I'm, I'm gonna give you what you know, and you know yes. what Moses did in the wilderness exactly by lifting up the serpent. But the other part that you don't know is the results of oh. the son of man being lifted. Yes, sir. Man, I'm glad he was lifted. Yes, sir. Whew. He was lifted. You want tag team? Sunday. You know what? I thought about that. I know. I know. I know. I thought about that. I really did. Ooh, man. I really did. Yeah. I really did. I really did. Because, watch this. Okay. So, uh, as a serpent, little Willis, and I lift it up. Mm -hmm. um, um, even so, some man we lift it up. For God so loved the world. The world. Now, the serpent was mm -hmm. when Israel was complaining. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm going too far. They mm -hmm. were complaining. And the Lord sent fiery serpents mm -hmm. down from the heaven. Mm -hmm. And they were bit, and some were killed. But when they looked up to Moses. If they looked up. Right. But well, no, I'm talking about they, they complained, but they yeah. complained to Moses. They complained to Moses. And they, yeah. Moses tell them to stop. Moses, speak up for us. The Lord said, make a, make a golden bronze. Now, wait a minute. These things are coming down. Bite, biting. Biting us. And you got time to make a bronze serpent. <laughs> <laughs> and anyone who looks to it yes. will be healed. Man. For God so loved the world. But think about that. That if the world looks to him, looks to him. Whoa. But you're saying, but you're saying. The same scenario then is now. Yeah. Because as Moses lifted the serpent, some of them boys were too stupid to look up. To look up. <laughs> For God did not send his son into the world to condemn, condemn the, the world, world, but the world through him might be saved. I got to hit my two brow. Hey! Might be saved. Go on and see it. Yes, sir. I always loved it when he says, For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. <laughs> <laughs> he gave his son that whosoever. Oh, yeah. 
Lord did not send the Son to the world. We're messing with you, Dr. Brown. To condemn the world, the world through him might be saved. To that great God, we give him glory. Yes. We give him honor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Butler would say about that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, oh, wow. we've done enough damage. We didn't even went into Sunday sermon. Man, man, man! I tell you what. Let me let me just let me just challenge those who are listening. Take some time and 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 reflect back on your conversion to the time that when you really knew that it was nobody. I mean, not you, not mama, not daddy, not somebody else in the house, but you knew it was nobody but Jesus who was the source of your life. And look up, look at your conversion. I, I, I think the church needs a revival. I, I think the world needs, the country needs a revival. And, and I think that we need the revival to, 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 to make us aware again. Right. From whence we've come. Right. We just, we just, we, we, we're going through this hell of a pandemic right now. But I believe that if the people of God would do 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, mm -hmm. I think the pandemic would end just like that. No doubt. No. I, I, I believe it, I believe it, I believe it. If we could just get a day to where all of the people of God, no matter where they were, would just get in a church or get at home and just go down on their knees together and call on the name of the Lord. Right. Man, this, this thing would change. Wait, but you know what? But another thing with this pandemic, it's revealing yes. relationships yes. between sir. God and, and the people. Yes, it is. And, and so we're, we're finding out that some people realize that, you know what, Rev? I didn't think I had it together like I thought I had it together. And then we have some folk, they've been exposed. Yeah. And, and and even with, I hate to say it, even with the preach brothers. Exactly. We find out who's been fluffing and who's been preaching. Because this is the time. Right. This is, this is the M-U-S-T. Yes. Yes. Not must be, but must. <laughs> must. Time. That the, that, that the word just really reinvigorates the people. It's, it's, we're on a fast track. And I don't think, I, I know the word tells us to watch as well as pray. But sometimes I wonder if we're really watching and understanding that we're on a fast track. To the coming of Christ. Yes, sir. We're on a fast track. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And and, 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 and but remember what I said though. When this pandemic hit, yes. And I talked to the Lord, I was like, okay, Lord, what do I do? What what's you know, now this now daddy had done pretty good preparing. Right. But he ain't preparing me for this one. Right, right, right. <laughs> so that's like, okay. Lord, remember, remember you said he said, you're gonna see some things, things I, I had never, never seen, seen before. And and so the Lord said Preach and teach with urgency. Yes, it is urgent. With urgency. And and I didn't know what that meant. I was going to die. I didn't know what that mean. Church members were going to die. Right, I didn't right. know what that meant. And I still don't know what it means. Right. But that's why I went on this hey, every day, Monday through Friday, Bible study, prayer meditations in the morning. We're going we gonna to do as much as we can. But well, you're doing it. You're right. doing it. Yeah. And it is urgent because, it is urgent. because the urgency is that we own this fast track. Right. We don't realize it could be tomorrow. Right. Right. You know that Jesus right. cracks the sky. Yeah. Are you born again? Ooh, man, yeah. Are you born again? And I don't want to, I don't want to be here. Uh because I guarantee you soon the Antichrist is going to be revealed. <laughs> I think he already has. <laughs> I think he's peach. <laughs> I mean, he's peach. I, I tell you what, it is going to be. We're on that fast track, and it is so urgent. The reason the Lord said that to you 
is because it's so urgent, not only for Prospect Hill, but to all the other churches and to all the saints of God. Draw nigh right. to the Lord now. You know, because COVID, number one, is still around. This is nothing but a plague. Right. It's nothing but a plague. So we need to draw, we need to urgently preach. And the people that we preach to need to urgently hear that word and draw nigh to Christ. But that's our only hope. Right. Mm. Right. Sunday, Sunday. Um, thank you, Pastor McGuire. Yes, sir. Thank Sunday you. is um, communion worship. For those who will not be joining us in the sanctuary, uh, please prepare your tables at home uh, for those who will be coming here. Um, we again, we will have communion just like we had it before. I know we yeah. we got to get used to being back in the building. Um, so um, uh, please, please be in your um, proper places on our communion worship. But I'm looking forward to commun communion with the with the family. Um, it's gonna be awesome. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be awesome. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Okay, this is about it. I'm trying to think. Anybody else. Oh yes, let's keep in prayer, Sister Jackie Davis, to the passing of her son. Um, we will have um, services. Uh, the details of the services arrangements we will have them for you when we get them. But let's keep Sister Jackie in our prayers. Um, she is one of our faithful um, um, members of Prospect Hill. Um, keep Sister. Um, Dina Lewis in your prayers and do me a favor tonight pray for Patrice Lewis keep her in your prayers pray for our sister um, she's about to um, have some surgery and we want to keep her lifted and um, pray for her successful outcome yeah, yeah. Um, uh, that's all I know right now um, keep, um, keep in prayer our sick and shut in Reverend Gary Tyler Sister Willie Ann Wolford it's good to see Willie Ann Sunday it was good to see her, Sonny, and Sister um, Lola uh, Thompson as well. Sister Lola, if you're listening, I love you, dear. And I'll be trying to get by you soon, trying to get to you soon. All right, let's um, close out in prayer. And um, you all have a good night. Y'all cooking dinner. Um, have a good night. Listen, listen, it's getting warm out. Yes. So be careful. It's a... It's a it's a new Negro out here in St. Louis, and he's crazy. So let's be mindful of our surroundings. <clears throat> Ladies, you know, be surroundful. Let's be surroundful of your surroundings. Young people, go home. Go home at night. You know, the there's, there's nothing out here after dark but trouble. Now, listen, I hear my daddy say it a bunch of times, and the Lord spared me yeah. to make it home. But um, listen, go home. Go home. Ain't nothing out here but trouble. Let's pray. Lord God, we thank you now for the eyes that seen and ears have heard. Lord, we thank you for Reverend McGlon and Lord, pour back into him what he has poured out. Lord Jesus. Lord, bless his heart. Lord, bless his family, his children, mm. and his children's children. Lord, we ask special blessing for Prospect Hill and yes, our God. friends and families of Prospect Hill and our virtual family. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing. And we pray that this word would reach the nations. Lord, we know that you have a plan. Mm -hmm. And Lord, we know that we trust your plan, even when we don't understand it. But Lord, have your way. And I pray that someone fi perhaps falls upon this. Yes, God. And they come into a knowledge of you. That they will confess you with their mouth, believe in their heart, that you are the living God. Lord, it's in your hands. Lord, we pray for a good night's rest. Pray for safe travel for those who have to go out. We pray for those who are in their homes. Protect them, Lord. Keep us in your care. In the name yes. of Jesus, we pray. We bless your name, O oh God. Amen. Amen. All right. Good night. Good night. Good night. See y'all later.